Good afternoon, my name is Omar Ansaldua. I'm the city engineer for the city of FAR. And I'm Rick Pedraza, the new public works director here at the city of FAR. Hello, I'm here today to talk to you about the city of FAR street maintenance program. And, and one aspect of that is there's an engineering side and obviously there's an operational side. From the engineering side, one of the things we do on a yearly basis is we do a, a distress survey of all the streets here in the city of FAR. Obviously, part of this uh, repaving program is that we want to be fi fiscally responsible with the monies that we're going to put into these streets. So one of the things you want to do is look at the worst distressed streets in the city of FAR and focus on those. And so. Year to year, there's going to be some minor modifications to these uh, streets that are going to be repaved. So in that sense, that's where we work together with Public Works and collaborate pretty much on how we plan on repaving on a year to year basis. As well as the repaving process, we also do maintenance on a daily basis on the streets. We repair potholes, we repair uh, cracks, we repair several uh, distress features. Uh, of that nature. So some of the impacts of distressed streets can cause to the citizens here at the City of Far. Obviously there's a safety component, a vehicle wear and tear component, and just the quality of life. So let's focus on the safety. Obviously if you're a driver and you're encountering a pothole, your basic instinct is going to try to swerve around that pothole. So swerving around these potholes can cause vehicle collisions, pedestrian vehicle accidents. So it's very important to watch out for these potholes and focus on these streets that are distressed in, in a major way. So that's the safety component. Let's talk about the wear and tear of a vehicle. Obviously, bad roads with bumpy roads can cause costly repairs to a car, suspension, steering, Obviously, alignment, when you have a bad alignment, it's going to cause your tires to wear faster. So it's a domino effect. So that's another component that we want to mitigate is the costly vehicle repairs that bad roads can pose to the citizens of FAR. And lastly, the quality of life. You know, you want to be driving on smooth roads. That can also lead to economic impacts. You know, the, the, the smooth roads, the better the roads, obviously, more efficiencies and and economic development and whatnot. So there's, those are kind of the three major key elements of having good roads in the city of FAR. Uh, the city of FAR Public Works Department recently acquired a pot, a pothole repair uh, machine. This uh, pothole repair machine pretty much is a um, machine that has every single type of uh, equipment needed to repair potholes. So I'm pretty sure some of you have seen this machine out uh, repairing potholes. Uh, currently, we, re we repaired over, I believe, 200 and some potholes since the beginning of the fiscal year. Uh, we are currently uh, trying to, to do an assessment of all the roads, and we have 12 zones, so every zone, every month, a zone is uh, looked at and then taken care of. So one of the things we want to definitely stress is how important it's been to have great leadership at the top with the mayor and the city commission. Without their vision, this couldn't have happened. We've been very proactive. They've been very proactive in implementing a very aggressive repaving program, investing anywhere from two to four million dollars a year in, in your street. So that is a vision that you know no other city around can can compare you know we've we've been very lucky to have such you know visionary leadership and so it just goes to the fact that they want to make the quality of life for the city of far for the residents here at city far just that much better omar that's exactly right the mayor and the city commission do provide a lot of support to our to 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 our departments here at the city of far uh, one thing is that they provide the support and the confidence of the department to actually do a lot of the maintenance work. Instead of having to sub it out to contractors, we here at the city, um, we're actually doing that work. In addition to the street maintenance program, we uh, here at City of Far, the Public Works Department and Engineering Department are currently developing a, a alley rehab program. You want to elaborate more on that? Yeah, and, and what, we, what we've been doing is, is we've been collaborating with Public Works and and doing an assessment of all these alleys in the city of FAR. Definitely identifying the pavement surface, whether it's a paved surface that's an alley that's already paved but it's in bad condition, or if it's just a dirt alley or it's grass alley. So we're trying to make, take an inventory of all these alleys in the, in the city of FAR and come up with a plan to rehabilitate these alleys. And, 
and the rehab consists of using recycled materials that the current that the city currently possesses from all the repaving programs. So here at City of Far, we're, we're really big on recycling materials and and um, you know cutting down the, the the carbon footprint. So we're going to be using the city uh, the city public works department uh, staff and the recycled materials that we currently have on site. So if you have any questions on this street repaving program or this alley rehabilitation program, you can definitely reach out to the engineering department or public works. At engineering, you can call myself at 956-540-9122 or, or Mr. Pedraza here, our director. Uh, which is, uh, my number is 956-540-8066. Thank you. I'm Omar Ansaldo and I'm proud to be serving as your city engineer. And I'm Rick Pedraza and I'm honored as well to be serving here at the City of Far.